Greetings, salutations, it's me, James, your BA Sensei. Today we're going to be talking about each and underscore, a fundamental concept to be great at Power Query. They go together like battery and torch. What does it mean? How does it work? How can it make my Power Query better? I'm going to show you. Well, all right, I got a very boring data set here just with some group codes, amounts and dates. I'm going to use this data set to explain each and underscore. Let's pull it into Power Query. So now, where do you see the each and the underscore? So I'm going to quickly give you an example where you'll encounter it. If you write your queries, let's say, for instance, we want to filter numbers greater than 223. You're going to get a list. So just note here in the query editor, it says each amount bigger than 223. So there's the each I'm referring to. Now you're going to ask me, where's the underscore? Well, the underscore is normally hidden. If I put the underscore in front of the amount over there and press Enter, it's still going to give me the same result. Nothing will change. So the underscore is normally hidden, but it's fundamental to see each and the underscore battery and torch going together. I'm going to explain to you how it works a little bit more in detail. Okay, so each, each refers simply to an item within a collection. It's an iterator. So you basically have um, tables with uh, columns within a table. You got rows or records within a table. You got items in a list. That's what the each refers to. The underscore is a little bit more uh, complicated and it, its meaning depends on the context of your query. So rather than me explaining to you what it means, theoretically, I'm going to show you what it means. Context of record. I'm going to add a new step. Say insert new step. I'm going to quickly say here table add column and you can see here i'm going to add it to a table it's going to be source and the column name would be let's make it record and i'm going to now put in there each all right and i'm just going to put the underscore in there what is what will this give me i press enter and as you can see in context of this the each and the underscore would refer to a row within a table so if i like in other words a record this record, I look at it, this record refers to that, that, and that within this row. And this one refers to that within this row. So a record within a table. So that's the reference of each and underscore battery and torch. Okay, so I'm just going to rename this. Okay, I'm going to add a new step. I'm going to show you a different context. Let's go back to source. This time around, I'm going to add table, add column. I'm going to add it to source. I'm going to call it, let's call this list call. I'm going to say each. And what I want to do to produce a list is I want to take each item in this group code and split it. And I want to make a list. So what I'm going to say is I'm going to say for each text dot split yes where text is text i'm going to look in the underscore which is the current context of the row and i'm going to look at group codes and i'm going to split it by that comma semicolon over there and i'm going to say okay so now what you can see is it gives us a list and you can see that list contains all the numbers, uh, a delimited list of numbers from that column. And that's what that each refers to. And you can see if I take that underscore out, it still works. So the underscore is hidden normally. Battery and torch. All right. So now I'm just going to rename this list content context. Next one, I'm going to add another step. Let's give it a table context. So in here, I'm going to say table, add column, and the table is going to be source. Yes. I'm going to say table call. And I'm going to say each. And in this case, I'm not just going to refer to either a list or something. I'm going to refer to, I'm just going to call it source. What it did now is it actually returned a complete table for each row. So for each row in this table, return the entire table, as you can see over there. Pretty cool. So now we have these three contexts. 
Now we have these three contexts for what the each and the underscore does. All right, so now what we're gonna do is we're gonna go back to each of these steps. Let's go back to record context. I'm gonna show you how the each and the underscore is actually sugar syntax for a function. Now that works. So if we look at the add column function over here, it's basically telling me I need a table which is source, reference to source, uh, column name, yes. And then it's saying column generator as function. So this each and underscore together is actually a function. And we know that functions in Power Query is indicated by that little rocket symbol. So if I take the each and I replace it with, let's say, an underscore and the rocket symbol, and I press enter, it actually does the same thing. So I can replace the each as, that each is actually reference to a function. So let's look at the context over here. If I go replace this each with a, does the exact same thing. If I go into table context, does the exact same thing. All right, so back to the row con record context. If I wanna perform some action with this record, let's say I wanna return a record field. I can say, all right, so, a record field yes I need to specify a record this little underscore is actually a variable right and for that record variable which is the input was the record from the table each record within a table is read into this function that function which is the record has a field and that field is let's say I want to return date press enter and voila presto now you can see that we actually the each is simply the indicator of a function starting and that underscore is actually the variable name which we're using in the function okay so that is in terms of the record so for the list context what i'm going to try and do here is i want to i'm going to show you an example of me trying to get the median of all these numbers in this list and returning that median to this value of how I would use the different iterators in each statements and underscores to get to that. We need to first transform these items in the list to numbers from text. So what we're gonna use is we're gonna say list transform. Yes, we're gonna give it an input. Input would be a list. Yes, and then each item in that list. So we basically create with this first function, we created the list, but now I want to iterate. I want to do each for each item in this list. So I need to do another each here. All right. And in that each, I can say number from text and I need to feed it that individual guy over there but what I'm going to do is I'm going to replace this with the actual iterator. I'm going to call this the list value that's the variable I'm giving it the variable name inside of the function and I'm going to say from text from that list value and I'm going to close this bracket I'm going to close that bracket. So now these are converted to numbers. Okay, so my next step will be to get the median. So if I now say list median, I just need to give it a list and that should do the trick. And there we go. There's the median. So if you look at this formula, we actually to first create this list, we had to iterate through this. So that's the outer, the first part that goes through each item in the group codes to create the list. And then once I had that, I wanted to go through each of those numbers in the list with this variable and perform some function on it. So that's a good example of how we can iterate with the underscore in each in a list. All right, let's get to table. Table function is a bit more complicated, but also pretty excellent because you can use this to 
join to itself, join a table to another table. So what I'm going to do here is I'm going to join this table to the inner table um, and I'm going to return all amounts bigger than the specific row. So we're going to have an outer and an inner table. So first of all, I'm going to say this very first source creating this table, this would be the outer table. So I'm going to replace this each with outer table. Yeah. I'm just going to say that. There we go. So that is exact same thing. What I'm going to do is I'm going to say I'm going to use a function called table select rows. Yes. And for this, I need to give it a table. I need to give it a function. So you can see the second part of this thing is give me a function. And as we know, each and the, and the underscore is actually a function. So I'm going to say each. Yes. I'm going to say each of these in the inner table amount is bigger than the amount of the outer table. Yes. But how do I explicitly say that? So I'm going to take this each out here. I'm going to call this the inner table. I'm going to do a little function rocket over there. And I'm just going to say the inner table amount is bigger than the outer table amount. So you see, this is how I used each and underscore to write a little bit more complicated um, query in here, which will actually give me quite a cool answer. So you can see here. So it's going to return in the inner table anything bigger than 309. You can see it over there. So if we look at this one over here, it's only returning tables where the value is bigger than 3887. You can see it over there. Pretty cool. So this is a good sample. If we look at this one, so 992 is the biggest one. There is no other row in the table bigger than 992. Pretty, pretty epic. So this is an indicator. I hope this lesson really helped you understanding each and underscore a little bit better because those concepts, battery and torch, fundamental to understanding Power Query. You will be able to write better Power Query understanding this. BA Sensei out.